Hi friends in the Michigan Years Museum, it's Lisa again and welcome back to one of our Mondays at the Museum. Today I'm here with Mr. John Ryder and Mr. John Arger and I'm going to be interviewing them so you guys can get to know them a little bit better and what they do for the museum. So the first question I'm going to be asking you guys is what is your job here at the museum and... Sure. No. Oh. Well, my job here, I'm the collections manager. All these wonderful displays, I put those together, get them out. Uh, I do the, uh, uh, write the stories, uh, do the research for those stories, uh, and uh, basically take care of all of this, uh, preserve it and uh, for, for the future. Absolutely. John does a great job with doing what he does. All of our collections uh, are maintained um, by John, and he an excellent job. But so my job with the museum is just as executive director is just to um, meet people, let them know what the museum is all about, try to promote the museum, and then just take care of any of the business of the museum, the day to days. All right, very cool. So how were you guys first introduced to the museum? How did you first come So about? I'm going to start there. Uh, the museum, uh, I used to come here as a kid when we were down at another location at Schoolhouse Square. Um, and then when the museum moved to this location, I thought that it was no longer in business. And so I stopped coming and looking for it. And it wasn't until uh, the executive director position came available that I had a good friend and, and board member give me a call and ask me to be on the board of director, or to ask me to interview for the executive director position. Sorry about that. And um, when I realized it was the same museum, I was absolutely giddy. It was, it was, it's, this is a, a dream job. It's the best job I could ever have. And I was pretty much the same way getting introduced to the museum as, as a child. I, I went to the schoolhouse square uh, where, the, where the museum was at that time. And I too thought that it, once it had moved, it was gone. And um, I met John. Uh, he had just hired in as a director a couple months before. And I had just met him at a Cub Scout uh, meeting. Uh, he uh, was running a camp and I heard him talking about polar bears. And I said, well, are you talking about the bears or are you talking about the guys that were in Russia? And he's like, what do you know about the guys in Russia? And so I proceeded to tell him what little I knew at that time, uh, a lot more now. Which was more um, than almost anybody <laughs> else out there knows. And uh, so he's, I told him my background with my education and everything. And uh, I came in and kind of interviewed. Uh, and uh, we were he was able to hire me part-time. And within a year, I was full-time and in taking care of all this great stuff that we have here. And doing an excellent job. So uh, I... We appreciate all that you guys do for the museum. And so what was your first impression when you first came to the museum? Obviously you both were from a young age, if you can right. remember that. As, as a kid, um, I mean, I spent a lot of time out in the hallway. Um, the, Stan had some displays in the hallway and there happened to be like a pew bench or something there. And I remember just sitting there staring at all of the polar bear displays and this, and I was reading everything I could. Um, and I thought, oh man, it's great. And when I finally got to go in, when my dad finally paid the two, three dollars to, to let me go in the museum there, it was just fantastic. Um, knowing where that was, and then for the first time coming here to what we have now, uh, when I walked in the door, I was blown away. I'm like, I thought, first of all, I thought this was all gone. And then to see it how it is now, as opposed to what it was at Schoolhouse Square was just phenomenal. Um, and of course, you know, I got to see the back room and all the extra stuff too, so. Yeah, and, and really the museum, uh, what I always liked were the individual stories and the way that they were told. And we've kept doing that the exact same way that Stan started in telling the stories of the individuals, the men and women that have served in the, in, as sailors, Marines, uh, airmen and, and soldiers, we just, uh, that's what captured me as a young man and the reason why I'm thrilled with this museum. We don't just talk about stuff and artifacts. We talk about the histories, the individual histories of Michigan service men and women. And it's really cool and unique. Awesome. So my last thing that I'm going to ask you guys is what is one reason that you think people should come out to the museum? <laughs> uh, I, I think everybody 
in the world should come here. Um, everybody, the whole world has been affected by the stories of these men and women uh, that are here on display. Um, I don't think any, everybody in the entire world will ever come in here, um, but at least uh, I think most people from Michigan should come here. Um, it just, it gives you, I mean, I, I served in the military. I didn't do much. You won't see my display here. Um, and, uh, but at the same time, even though I served, I'm in awe of every single story that I have here on display. Every story that was written by Stan and, and before I got here, every story that, that I've written since I've been here and researched, uh, it's, they're all just amazing people that stood up in a time of need and did their duty for their country, for their state, for their friends and family. All and, and I just think it's wonderful. Exactly. Yeah, so we have over 850 stories we rotate to the museum. And I've got over 150 stories out at any given time. And they're absolutely amazing stories. And I agree. That's that's the number one thing is the stories, the, the individuals who served. Uh, they're the best stories that you'll find as a collection anywhere. All right, well thank you both for letting me interview you and I hope you guys learned a little bit learned a little bit about the Johns and what they do here at the museum. So like I always say, make sure you like us on Facebook and come check us out here at the museum. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye. Have a good rest of your day.